Hello, this is measuring with a metric ruler, dealing with scientific skills for Prius Chem and research. So on your bathroom pass, um, you are going to measure the width of your pass. That's the outline lines, not the whole um, card. And you will make that measurement onto your uh, OneNote assignment. So a few vocab words that you will see in this um, lecture is known, and that is to recognize with certainty. So you are certainly um, that this is known. An unknown would be an unidentified, nameless, not known <laughs> object. An estimate is a judgment to approximate a value, and a calibration is the smallest space of an instrument. So in this picture, you can see there are some knowns. You know the uh, gender, uh, the ethnicity, some estimates. You can estimate she is a child of a certain age. The mood, you can see from her face. Plants, it's a, um, approximately maybe a wheat or a grain. Unknowns, you don't know her name, um, what country she is presently in. Um, and the date of the photo. Being black and white doesn't really mean anything nowadays. Uh, here's another picture. You can take some knowns. Uh, gender of the girl uh, smiling. Uh, ethnicity. The character names, Mickey and Minnie. The food they're eating is breakfast. Age, again, is an estimate. Mood, they seem happy, but they could be scared. <laughs> or even location. There's different places around the world. There's Disney. Uh, time of day, you could say it's breakfast time, but you are not certain. Unknowns, name, country, date, if it's a restaurant, or the name of the restaurant. That is also uh, applied to measurements or calibration. Um, so known things in this picture. Um, so what is the length of the pencil? We know it's going to be something nine centimeters long. It's past nine, hasn't reached ten. So we know it's nine. An estimate would basically be um, maybe halfway or 0.4 of the way between nine and ten. Unknowns. There's nothing that is unknown here. We know that the unit is centimeters um, and the estimate is around nine and a half, nine point four. So, how do we get 9.4 or 9.5 from that? That's from calibrating a ruler or a cylinder. This is basically the same thing. So, there are three steps to calibrate a ruler. One, you find two numbered lines on the ruler and subtract their values. So, let's do two and one. So, the difference between two and one is one centimeter. Step two, count the number of spaces that between those numbers. And there are 10 spaces between 1 and 2 in this case. And number 3 is to divide 1 by 2. So you take 1 divided by 10, 1 centimeter per 10 spaces, and you get 0 0.1 centimeters per space. So that means each of those space is a worth of 0 0.1 centimeters. So what does it actually mean? When measuring, always read an instrument out to that last digit you record is an estimate. So all the digits before that are known. So you should always have a little guess at the end of each measurement. So what is the pencil length? So in this case, we calibrate the difference between there's only two numbers, 0 and 10, so it's 10 centimeters per space. How many spaces are there? 1. So it's 10 centimeters per space. And this is an estimate or a known. Well, it's pretty much just an estimate because it, you don't really know. It's always going to be approximately 9. Um, so it's not a certainty. 
unit centimeters. All right, here we have a calibration of one centimeter per space. And we can approximate it to be a roughly uh, 9.4. So it's not quite halfway. You could say 9.3. But again, that is an estimate, that 0.4 number. So is that 0.4 a known or an estimate? It's an estimate. The 9 would be a known, because we know it's 9 something. All right, here we have a calibration of 1 divided by 2, which is 0.5 centimeters per space. And again, we can estimate to be, it hasn't reached 9.5, so we're going to say 9.4. Again, the unit is centimeters. So is the 0.4 an estimate or a known? Again, estimate. And the 9, an estimate or a known? A known. So notice again that last digit is always going to be an estimate. If you're not certainly certain, then you know it's an estimate. If it is certain, then you need to go one more digit after. Calibration 0.1 centimeters per space. And our value is approximately 9.42. And again, the unit centimeters. So is that two an estimate or a known? Again, it's the last digit, so it always needs to be an estimate. If you knew it for certain it was a two, then you got to go further. Nine and the four are both going to be knowns. All right, that first one we did, Approximately 9 centimeters, it's approximate because we don't know for certain. The second one, we knew is around 9.3 or 9.4. 0.3 is approximate. The second one, again, we can only get 9.3 because we can't really say if it's 9.2 or 9.3 um, because it's not known. And this last one, 9.30, it's directly on that 0.3, so we have to add a zero at the end to make it a um, unknown. So what is the diameter of the coin? So you wanna make sure you complete this. Um, looks like it's just a little bit shy of three and a half. So we know it's gonna be 3.4 something and approximately 3.47 or 3.48. Again, we can say six and eight because, all right, we have a square here. So what's the area of a square? So it's length and width are the same in a square. So you just need to measure one side. And we know it's gonna be between two and three. And then you look really close, it's between 0.8 and 0.9. So we know it's gonna be 2.8 something so we get 2.82, 2.83 is fine. So the length is the same. So for area, it's length times width. And you get to 7.95. Now, it's actually um, rounded because of sig fig. So if you have three numbers and you multiply by something that has three numbers, your answer only could be in three numbers. So we'll get to that later on about sig figs. three-dimensional volume is a cube is the length the width and the height are the same so here we got two point what, two something so we know it's gonna be two point two something um, approximately two point two five so that means the volume is going to be two point two five times two point two five times two point two five or two point two five cubed and 11.4 is your answer. Again, making sure you have three numbers as your sig figs. So remembering that if it's right on the line, you have to make sure you add an extra digit to make sure you have enough significant figures. That's important to understand. 
So if it's exactly 1.7, you need to put a zero there to make um, an estimate. So 1.7 cubed is 4.91. Remember, you must calibrate an instrument before you can read it to understand what you can measure to. Smaller calibration equals more accurate measurements. So if you want to measure something accurately, you want to make sure you have the smallest value possible for that piece of equipment. Read an instrument out to where the last digit is an estimate and all the other digits are knowns and always put a unit. So on your practice, you're going to complete these uh, seven values, the measurements. Um, it's clear on the piece of paper. You want to make sure you calibrate both rulers as well. There's two different rulers to calibrate. 